All right, Eric, here we are at 1016 Grand Isle. You can see the two entrances over here. So that was, you know, the, the adjacent lot that is connected to it. That gate does work, but there is, you know, a problem with the, the motor right now, whether or not it's connected to the transponder. So it's probably a pretty easy fix, but that's one of the things that the listing agent disclosed to me that is not currently working. It's just that it's not, it's not motorized at the moment, meaning it's not connected to the, to the transponder. All right, we're gonna head inside. We did check over here to the right-hand side. There is a little extra space over there. That's where the buried propane tank is. Um, I don't know how big it is, but it's it's pretty significant. It's, it's over on the side of the house. All right, the main part of the house is here to your right, okay, over this way. Um, master bedroom is over there. This is the entire kind of enclosed bar area. Immediately to my left is the casita. I just want to kind of give you some bearings because this place is massive. It, it, you just don't get a good perspective of it from um, the pictures, how expansive this really goes. Just all the decking and different ponds and bridgeways. And it is, it is beyond impressive. I, I was not expecting all of this. Um, the layout of it should really go for what you kind of have in mind, but we'll walk through it as we go. All right. Um, super, super, super impressive. Super impressive. Okay. You can see some of the tile work here. I like the colors, the light blues. You can see um, kind of the whole bar area set up. It's more set up commercial style back in here, uh, which is really all you need. Nice stone, big, thick stone piece that goes around. That's where it would tap into the gas right there, the propane. Uh, then you got more electric, obviously. Um, yeah. Oh, cabana ceiling work. You can have a perspective on some of the pool area right now. The rock, the hot tub is actually over there where the white um, handlebars are. And then the rock fountain, the koi pond starts that way from the bridgeway. And here is TV, TV for that. Okay. So that's where the second driveway is over there. All right, we're gonna go in. This is just a little storage room here for the pool area. We're gonna go into the casita. It is upstairs, downstairs, um, but they're separate. You know, the separate walkways that stairs that lead up is a separate room up there. Crown moldings in here. Tile floors are definitely older. They're 12, looks like 12 inch tiles. This is through the main house, but it's, you know, ceramic tile. You know, whether or not you have to replace that, so that's kind of going to be a uh, personal choice on that one. But it's got a little kitchenette in here and then shower as well. Okay. Some of the finishings are still pretty original old school. You can tell some of the cabinetry and just little tiles, but it's all in good shape. It's all very neutral. Um, you know, I think if you wanted to do some grand remodel of the whole place you're talking way too much money but i think all this stuff is really it's really still cool like even these you know mexican tiles these you know kind of painted painted tiles has a really neat it's a really neat look to it so it just kind of depends how much you really see in this that needs to be redone so here's the upstairs of this one Nice big room. It's got an extra seating area over here. Okay. It's got a double bed, maybe even a queen. Closet space. Plantation shutters everywhere. This has got a little, same little kitchenette. Cabinetry. Little bath, stand up shower. Crown molding in here as well. So that is the pool casita. Okay. So you got two bedrooms, two baths, and each one of each, each one of those. We're gonna go check out the main house now. We'll do the theater room last. Um, theater room, I think you're really gonna like. That has has a lot of cool features to it. We're gonna go in, these are all sliders here. You know, this one pockets all the way back here. Beveled glass that I'm walking past. Trying to be efficient with the time, just because this place is so big, I don't wanna just linger in every room too long. 
Um, this is the main seating area for this part of the house. Okay. Um, there's a little transom window up there that leads through to that bedroom. Kitchen leaves a little to be desired, obviously. So this, you know, could easily do up. Countertops, the cabinets are pretty old school, right? It's kind of the, I mean, they're solid wood for sure. And it's not thermofoil, right? So it just hasn't been updated in a while. Recessed lighting everywhere. We'll go cruise through to the dining here. Okay, mirrored window, a little transom lights. They got, you know, pass through lighting everywhere in here. These sliders are all open, okay? And they actually enclose this room, which, you know, I could take it or leave it. The, the, the screens are still back there. It's so all this stuff. See, there's a handle here. Oh, must be locked. All this stuff, I didn't try that ahead of time. All that stuff slides back, right? So all these sliders can push down. You know, maybe it might be better off as just screened in area. Um, right now it's part of the AC space, but you can tell there's a little walkway and that goes back there. So it's a pr pretty big area, really. And they have another little eating kitchen table over there, which is really neat around that. Around those three sets of windows. Okay, another sitting area here as well. Okay, we'll go to the master this way. Half bath here, and then this is the whole master wing, right? This goes all the way down. They repainted this entire place. The carpet that I saw in the casita and in here and in the theater room is all brand new, okay? The carpet's all brand new. Real high ceilings. Looks out over the lake. So that's the turnaround. Maybe I should open those sliders. But you can see you're right next to where that pool is and where that waterfall feature is. Here is closets are massive, which isn't a big surprise. So this actually goes all the way through to the master bath, okay? So that would go back out to that. Hall. I just basically did a circle, right? That goes right back out to that hallway to the right. So here's the master bath. Glass shower door has been replaced. A lot of those fixtures have been replaced. Um, so the master bath has had a partial remodel to the flooring, to the countertops. Uh, the cabinets have not been redone, it doesn't look like. Fixtures have been redone. So just the cabinetry probably could use. I mean, really, they could just dress them up with new knobs. I mean, I, honestly, I, I, I don't even think you need new cabinetry. I just, the knobs, I don't know why they went with just the plain white knobs. But I think everything here really could be just fine the way that it is. So we walk through one closet. There's a second closet here. That goes down. And it goes behind this door just a little bit. So tons of closet space. So really the interesting part of it is this main part of the house really only has that master bedroom. Okay. And then this guest bath or sorry, this guest room, which is here, okay? Smaller room, but it functions as a guest room, right? Closet there, it connects to this bath, which then Jack and Jill's into the, um, so a smaller bath, Jack and Jill's through to the office, which is really beautiful wood paneling. I mean, that's gorgeous. Way that they've done all this. There is no secret entrances or a secret, those do not cabinet out, okay, but there is one here behind this. So behind this bookshelf, there is a secret closet which houses the safe currently. Okay? Liberty safes. There's no money in it. Maybe there is actually, just kidding. Um, so that's really neat, look how thick that is. Huh? All right, 
that's about where we are in the house. You get a better idea. The garage is directly behind this. I want to get maybe a different view of some of these bookcases that are already in here. And there is some cabinetry here, some pullouts. Those are the only ones on that wall. Okay. Laundry, pretty bare bones laundry, and then the garage is right behind that, which is a very standard two-car garage. So we'll poke at that real quick. Right, standard two-car garage, then that leads back through, that door leads into the courtyard pool area. All right. We're getting there. All right, we're gonna loop back around, walk some of the courtyard area that we haven't seen yet, and then do the theater room. I'll just kind of scan some of this from different angles as I go around. There's the hot tub down in the rocks a little bit. I was thinking a spot could go up here if there wasn't one. That would have been cool having it like up there, but that would have been some engineering to get that done. These are, these are all stone, man. Crazy. All feels like rock. It's like painted rock. I thought it was kind of like a faux finish. I don't know, man. That, those are all stone. That's all real rock. That's wild. Outdoor shower right here. I don't know where the where's the head for it? I noticed that the first time. Oh, it comes out here. Sorry, the sun's right there. That's an outdoor shower. Anyway, not to get. So this gate goes out to like a open sitting area back behind there, looking out over the lake. It goes that way. So that's kind of hidden. There's like a little garden back there too. If you can see all the way through. I actually didn't walk that the first time. So behind where some of the pool equipment is. Here you start with your koi pond. So it's kind of like it flows into two different pools. And then there's a rock waterfall up there. And then some stones, and then it loops back around that way. So they have the two bridgeways here. I'll just walk it real quick to go around and the paver paver stones that's the other part of the driveway for extra parking and then it goes up into there thoroughly Thoroughly impressive. I mean, the pictures just do not do this place justice at all. And I couldn't even tell from the pictures if the carpet was new. The, the, they call those koi, those are tiny. I don't know if they put little babies in there. I don't see any big toys in here. Easily could be, right? Um, anyway, let's get into the theater room because I think that's a really huge selling feature for at least what you've told me your purposes would be. Really cool entryway here with the display cabinets. Lighting, accent lighting, different moldings. So to the left is the theater room itself with a big giant screen. There's an AV room behind that. And obviously where you access all the wiring and everything, um, paddle fans, little mirror cabinetry area over there. Um, so you can do some pretty impressive things in this room. And then over here is where he had his studio slash workout. Um, workout room, which is what I would envision obviously you doing as well. That's why it's all mirrored on that side to get to get the workouts done. And that's all looking out onto your koi pond. I'm gonna circle back through this way. I didn't actually go into that room behind there where all the wiring is. That's kind of the garden that I showed you from the backhand side. 
So they have a wet bar set up here with some more display cabinets, some more accent lighting. There's actually even a little, little grill here. She did say something about how I think it must be these two. These two are like fridge doors that are not working. They're sub-zero and she said they just couldn't get the parts in time and yada yada. So they didn't actually get that fixed. So there's two things that she knew for certain weren't working in this house. Being a bigger house, I can see how and you know some of it of, of an older vintage how you know, they would want an as his contract for this. All right, so that loops back around to the exercise room, studio. There's another little sitting area back in there. And a little rotunda type type look. You know, a little poker table, something like that. And then one last, because obviously you can't have a room like this without having a bathroom. So you come in here. So you use the bathroom and it loops back around to full shower. And that just circles through, right? It's a little linen closet. Actually, that's a hot water heater. So that just circles around. Um, of all the stuff we've seen, I mean, I, it goes without saying that this is just beyond the scope of anything that we've seen as far as just size. And I think, again, more from what you've told me you want to use it for in the space that you want, it really does lay out with an incredible setup. Um, whether or not you can get it for the price you want, that's a whole nother story. You know, she told me, you know, they had an appraiser come through that said it was worth three, seven to four. So they listed on the lower end of that, you know, what the family would let it go for. That's a whole different story. Um, so anyway, hope you enjoyed the tour. That was that's a sight to behold this place.